relationship with folks, you know, and, and keeping it, that's why it would be really good for even eventually for us to go from LA to the Yucatan and continue building that relationship. You know, I should tell you, because this didn't happen just kind of like, like navel gazing. In Tucson, they banned our books, you know? And I went to Mani, Yucatan, where they burned the books, you know? And I, I had met this elder about 25 years ago in Texas, actually. He was visiting. And he, he told me the story because he wrote, he wrote a play about how they burned the books and all that. So when we were going through our, our battles in Tucson, we want to accept that in, the play involves a lot of horses, you know? <laughs> we're like, like, we can't afford to bring horses. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Raul's an expert on how to make simulate like there's horses. <laughs> no, no, but we're, I'm joking because we have horses in Tucson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the point is, it was a logistical yeah, thing, you know. Yeah, right. Uh, but the so in other words, because you know sometimes people just get fascinated by other people's cultures, and so it wasn't that. It was literally they banned our books, and we were going through the same battle, five hundred years later. You know what yeah. was permissible. You know, yeah. they thought it was demonic and on and on. That's what they thought in Tucson, in Arizona. And then I think we, we we've seen is California, Texas, and New Mexico, and even Oregon. And it's like it's it's almost like it had a the opposite effect. Yeah. You know, the, they didn't want it taught, and instead it grew ten times <laughs> bigger. 